All right, well, the mayor started his press conference just a little bit early. He's talking about widening or making Eglinton Avenue into what's called a Grand Avenue. But he's having trouble being heard over protesters. Let's have a quick listen on a look, first of all. This is live right now on Eglinton Avenue. On the traffic Resign. along Eglinton. Resign. Resign. These are the short-term growing pains Resign. that go along Resign. with expanding Resign. our transit system. Resign. Resign. We all know that the subway is going ahead Resign. along Eglinton. That is obviously great news. Take your hand off me. Don't touch me. Yes, and I'll worry about it if you want to have a police officer come and remove it. Take your hand off me. Get out of my face, Dan. Get out of my face, Dan. Resign. 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 There's no, no stranger to protest. It's just the one protester by the looks well, and sounds of it. If our cameras could look I believe there are some other protesters around, but there's very one boisterous protester. Mm -hmm. Chanting resign. But there are other people there with him. Resign. Uh, the shirtless protester, of course, uh, represented the shirtless jogger that confronted the mayor. And sparked other people to do the same, representing so many voices. Now we can see we can see one of the mayor's handlers is trying his best to dissuade this gentleman this from from doing this. In other news, Jimmy Kimmel's writers are thanking it's Toronto it's politics yet again for being able to fulfill traffic. his show. This plan Requirements and material. General traffic from five lanes down to just one lane in each direction. You don't intimidate me. From Avenue Road to Mount Pleasant. You do not intimidate me. City planners want to replace City planners want to replace much needed space on our gridlock roads with bike lanes and wider sidewalks. Well, these are nice to have. They can't come at the expense of keeping traffic flowing. But we need a sensible approach So the to noise has become more of an issue because we can't even hear what the mayor is saying. The mayor is trying to talk about the redesign of Eglinton Avenue. A lot of critics are angry because it could uh, create more traffic. And I think that the mayor is trying to say how the plan is not a good plan. Reducing lanes on gridlock streets as part of this plan. Again, I repeat, it, uh, it's become a circus yeah, in it, proportions. I think it, it's, uh, honestly, I think it's one thing to be allowed in, in a democracy uh, that to, to have your say, but both sides have to have their say as well. So, I mean, it's, it's fine to be there with signs, but... You can't you can't completely disrupt something like this right now because your message. And he gets does lost have as well. every right to stand there, every yeah. democratic right, which is why they actually can't legally or physically remove him from the sidewalk or the street, as it looks like. As you know, as you know, friends. You don't have any friends. Traffic congestion costs Toronto billions of dollars each and every year. You're ineffective and you traffic creates pollution and harms the environment. It keeps us away from our families and our jobs. People are angry, they're very passionate about this. Cynthia, as you see, is off to the left hand side. Now, Cynthia, I don't know if Cynthia has her earpiece in right now. We have cheat a lot. Can Cynthia can Cynthia hear me? A lot on this front. Yes, she can. Significant investments, so, the which is amazing because there's a lot going on. An upgrade traffic management systems. Resign. Resign. We're just we're just endeavoring to get Cynthia's microphone here right now because obviously what the mayor has to say is getting lost completely in, in this. Oh yes, completely drowned out by the protesters. This week, friends. This week, unfortunately, council will review a plan that could create traffic chaos on Eglinton Avenue Resign. and its surrounding Resign. neighborhoods. Resign. A plan Resign. that will reduce Resign. valuable space Resign. on already Resign. congested roads and divert the traffic from Eglinton to surrounding residential communities. What they plan to do on Eglinton, folks, is exactly what they did on St. Clair. We cannot cannot reduce lanes of traffic from five lanes down to two. 
we have already major congestion issues along Eglinton. This is the problem we have. We need to deal with the current congestion, not make the situation worse. I assure the residents of Toronto that I will be fighting this plan at Council today and tomorrow. Resign. We need councillors to work together Resign. to keep Resign. traffic moving in the city. We have to keep traffic Resign. moving, folks. Resign. We cannot waste $150 million on reducing lanes of traffic on Eglinton from five lanes down to two. And that's exactly, exactly what the planners want to do. And we cannot go back to the days Resign. of St. Clair Avenue. Resign. Resign. I'd be more than happy Resign. to take any questions on this Resign. extremely important issue. Resign. Where were you when all this was being planned, Mayor? For? Why won't you resign? You're getting involved now, but where were you for the months when this was being planned? Why well, when I got resign? the report, Obviously, I, I reviewed it, and they this is going to council, like and council's going to draw it up, and hopefully not approve it. A lot of the councillors weren't even aware of it yesterday, and then we up? looked at it, and I said, Why "There's no way," because when I got free from um, uh, the city manager, did not tell me that they were reducing lanes of traffic. So I had to go through. They, they can, they can, oh, they can protest all they want. All I'm doing is saving taxpayers money, keeping the traffic flowing. That is what the taxpayers want in the city. From five lanes to two lanes is unacceptable. When the people, when the, when the people want, when the people find out that the lanes of traffic on Eglinton go from five lanes to two, and all the traffic's going to go through the side streets, there's going to be major, major problems with this. So I just want to bring to attention. It's all right. It's all right. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This was in the works for months. No, it wasn't. No, absolutely, yeah, absolutely not. So this, this, this is. This, is, this hasn't even been approved by council. You're totally wrong. This has totally never been approved by council. This hasn't been approved by council. And then they're drawing, okay, so how can you say it's not been approved? Thanks, thanks. It was at, it comes to council. We looked at the drawings. They haven't even got direction from council. So how can you say staff's going to go ahead and go to the people? I'm letting the people know before it gets approved by council. We do not want to spend $150 million. You may want to. The taxpayers don't want to spend $150 million. And they do not want to reduce lanes from five lanes to two. That's the bottom line. Thank you very much, everyone. What do you think about the latest poll showing John Tory and the leader?